Welcome to our video on the assessment and evaluation of glenoid bone loss using the ImageJ program. None of the author's disclosures pertain to the study at hand. We begin in our routine PAC system viewing the 3D CT image of the glenoid with the ONFOS view. We took a screenshot and saved this as a .jpg file and imported it into Microsoft PowerPoint as seen here. We then click on Insert and then Shape drop down menu. We want to draw a perfect circle so we scroll down, click on our circle drawing function with two intersecting diameters, then click down to expand and draw our circle noting the height and the width dimensions that are displayed. Want to make sure that those are both equal and as you can see here they're equal to 1.38. We then remove the blue filling by double clicking and in the new menu Click on Fill and then No Fill. Click on Line and then change our line color to red for a better contrast. Of note, this CT image was acquired using 1.25 millimeter thick slices. We then click down and drag our perfect circle over the inferior glenoid. And once we are satisfied with that fit, we can save this image as a .jpg picture file by clicking on File and then save as pictures. This will be important image J as seen here. Next, we click on the straight line drawing function as we want to measure the diameter of that red circle. So we trace over the diameter and within image J, we're able to measure the length of this line in a pixel value. Once drawn, we go to the top and click on Analyze and then Measure. And as you can see here, the length of that line is 98 pixels. The next step is to measure the width of that glenoid defect. So we drag our line over to measure that width. And again, we go and click on Analyze and then Measure. As you can see here, it is 24 pixels, and we plug those two values into the equation below to calculate percent bone loss. For the service area method, we click on our oval drawing function. We want to measure the area of that red circle, so we click down and expand, noting the height and the width dimensions displayed in the status bar. We want to make sure those are both equal. As you can see here, they're both equal to 100. We then drag that perfect circle over our red circle. We can measure the area by Glenn clicking on Analyze, then Measure. As you can see here, it is 7,860 pixels. Next step is to click on the freehand drawing function as we want to trace the borders of that glenoid defect. So we click down and trace over that defect border. And then we incorporate the perimeter of that red circle. And once we are satisfied with our outline, we can measure the area of that defect. Click on Analyze and then Measure. And then the two values of area can be plugged into the equation below to calculate percent bone loss. Thank you for watching our video.